So we're going to get to a video where Marlon Rains is finally responding to the backlash he's getting about this love, not war thing. He posted the song, Try This in a Small Town, showing the black folks running up on the white folks like we started, right? So then he got mad that people gave him backlash for this because he was all kumbaya, oh, let's love, not war. But you ain't show what started it, which was them jumping on a black dude. So then he reposted it, showing them jumping on a black dude with the song and all of that. And then he was like, y'all got me effed up. Now, shut the F up. So I'm trying to figure out how is he upset because he spent this narrative like we started it. And then on top of that, you want us to kumbaya when people are getting punched in the face and jumped? All I'm saying is we want to see if you holler all that love, not war stuff when you the one getting jumped and stumped. But let's hear what he had to say. I woke up. Two bunch of stupid ass Google alerts with a bunch of stupid ass sites. Misinterpreting my entire post. Why would I criticize black people for defending themselves? I'm black. Don't Nobody knows irony anymore, huh? Yes, that just went out the window. It's the irony of the song. Stupid. The irony of the song. You know we'll be listening to country like that. Gotta put some of that dialing hot fire behind them rights and left to get us to tune in, okay? I, it took me, I was struggling trying to listen to the couple lyrics that I listened to to get, get the meaning of what you was trying to say in the song. But you can't be mad at black people because you left a very vague post that could very easily be interpreted as you not siding with the black folk who defended a black man who was being jumped and stumped by a bunch of white folk. And why would I criticize black people for defending themselves? That's the thing about social media, man. It's left for interpretation. Y'all tripping. Make no sense. None at all. I shouldn't even address it. It's that stupid. But, you know, if people want to make articles and interpretation, do it. I don't care. Black people know I love black people. I'm black. So now we know that you addressed it, but yeah, you was a little bit vague for a minute. We thought you had hopped on the Jesse Peterson side of the game and, and, and we was wondering what was happening with our brother Marlon. But now that we know it is clear, it is what it is. But see, you can't just say just because you black that you love black people because Jesse Peterson clearly can't stand black folk and he's as black as they come. It's a lot of black people who don't like black people. Little girl on Dr. Phil, I did a video on a while ago. She has this white complex where she thinks she's a white woman trapped inside of a black body and she can't stand black folk and all of this type of stuff. So yeah, we don't know. It's a lot of black folk who got the Uncle Ruckus syndrome off of the boondocks. You dig what I'm saying? But I can, I'm just trying to understand, Marley. It is, it, it's all good. I know you're irritated because you like social media is up for interpretation and people run with this and run with that. It's a business, bro. Tell me you got to understand that. It's a business. So when you get statements that are salacious and, and noteworthy and headline worthy, people are going to take it. They're going to break it down. They're going to dissect it. They're going to wonder what you meant by when you said this. They're going to wonder the optics of what you posted when you did that. And, and I think you, I don't know. I think it may have been some, a little subconscious thing that was going on that you posted it the way you did and said what you said. So it's still some underlying things there to be broken down. But as a comedian, I know you understand this because you break down headlines that happen in the news and you make jokes out of them and you make us all laugh. So you break down salacious content and this, that, and the other and whatever's the, a, a good topic of the day that you can make a joke out of. So I know you, I know you get it to some point and some degree of why people were breaking down your words and what had to be said, because I mean, obviously everybody knows about this story right now It's viral. 
People are all talking about it. People are all making jokes about it, this, that, and the other. You decided to go the opposite route and not make a joke, but to say, can we all love and get along? We Look, black folk been wanting to love and get along for a long time. And this is all I'm saying, man. We, we get it. Like, we don't hate white folk. That ain't what we're trying to push or promote here. This is defense mechanism. Because black folk have been, been being attacked for 400 plus years we've been attacked like this. And this is the remnants of what used to go back, used to go down back in the day. Because back in the day, they could hang us from a tree and stand there with the family proud and with the babies and the kids like it was a day at the picnic. They, they have us hanging up like it was like it was deer meat or something. Burnt up to a crisp, tarred, feathered, all of that. And like I say, we're not promoting no hatred towards white folk. But if there is any small residue of hatred left in some black folks heart, you should be able to understand that given what we've been put through. And that was from when it was blatant and out in the open. But you got to realize those blatant out in the open people have families and descendants that still feel the way they felt back in the day. So these little pockets of people that still grew up in those racist families and you know, maybe they not they they, ain't, they can't be as proud as they want to be. They can't hang you from a tree and do like they want to do. But when they get sauced up, they get a little of that juice in them, it comes on out. It comes on out because they were raised this way and they don't have no intentions on trying to change. They don't like black folk and that's what it is. And we got to deal with them every day. We ain't got to like each other, but we got to exist in this world together. But we just saying, look, as a, as a black man, I'm saying... We don't, we do not hate y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can tell by we black folks are, are, are one of the most, are probably the most forgiving people that there are. Because the way we've been persecuted and we still welcome white folk on in. We bring, come on to the barbecue. Come on and rap with us. Come on and do, you know what I'm saying? Come on, let me show you how to dance. All of that. So, it, like, we, we are some of the most forgiving people are, that, that there are. And we got love. Our hearts are huge. We got love for white folk. We want to kumbaya. The problem is they haven't been kumbaya with us from the start. We were hated from the start. We were slaves from the start. You know what I'm saying? From the time that we were traded by our own people for trinkets or whatever they got and, and, and sent us over here. And then we were enslaved and continued to help build this country. It's a lot to do with this, man. I know I'm ranting and this, that, and another, but it, it, it just, it's an irritating subject to talk about. And I felt a, a, a big scoop of unity to see my brothers linking up and uniting to fight a good fight and to, to, to protect each other rather than to bicker in a fight and to shoot and kill each other. So that's that's a good change of pace for us to see. I'm glad that no one was hurt, harmed, or, or people were hurt, but I'm, I'm glad that no bullets were exchanged, no life was lost, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I do feel sorry for the lady that got hit with that chair. You know, it's a lot of jokes being made about it, but, you know, we definitely didn't, that, she, ain't, she ain't deserve that chair, bro, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We, we just saying it was good to see black folk link up together, and then in the midst of all of that unity that we're experiencing, that we're experiencing, unfortunately, due to some violence, sometimes it got to go down like that. When people are attacking you, you got to defend yourself. And that's just the intelligent thing to do. Like, what else are you to do? Lay down and die? And I'm just saying, Marlon, we were confused and very frustrated and irritated and mad that it would seem like one of us would um, turn on us in the midst of this time. You know, we was hoping you hadn't turned into this Jesse Peterson type of caricature, you know what I'm saying, or Candace Owens type of character. She, she don't seem like she like black folk neither. So, but it is what it is. I'm glad he cleared it up. I'm still irritated that he's still mad that he doesn't understand why other people were mad about it. But hey, it is what it is. It's your boy P. Camp. Let me know what you think about this situation. Get at your boy.